Hello everyone, welcome back to VTE Sikshana program. Myself, Professor Nitin Kumar. So I have to give you the lecture on mobile application development. In this particular lecture, I will be working on animation. What is animation? If you want some graphic things to happen in your application, if you want the images to uh, have some anim animated thing, if you want the image to move randomly, so such kind of animation, such kind of animation will not, not directly will come in the Android Studio framework. So keep in mind, to have the animation, the developer has to animate. So there is no inbuilt component which is there in the Android Studio framework to directly animate. For example, I need to add my image. So if I add image and if I, there is a button, click on animate, the animation will not happen. Such thing is not there in mobile application development that with respect to Android Studio framework. So if I want animation on my image, I need to write a code and I need to introduce that animation on my image by calling that code. So what is that code? So for example, so in this particular application, I'm going to develop a image switcher application where I'm going to place five to six images and I'm going to have two buttons. One is next, other one is previous. So if the user clicks on next, it should scroll, next person button should appear. The, if the user clicks on previous, the previous image should appear. Means it will serve like a gallery. So I'm not making use of an inbuilt gallery application. Instead of that, I'm developing my own uh, application where I'm introducing this animation in the form of a separate files. I, I'm writing, I'm, I'm not developing a complex animation thing here. Just I'm developing a two lines of code I'm placing in in.xml and out.xml just for the traversal of those images. That's it. Okay. So where to find the, for place this animation? How to create the animation? That's the primary thing that you have to know. The animation should be created inside the resources folder. Resources folder. The animation has to be created inside the resources folder. You can have your own directory. Create your own directory. Inside the directory, you can have animation resource files. This is the hierarchy that you have to follow whenever you want to create the animation. Go to resources, Create your own directory, you can give your name, Nitin, R, Anim, Animation, whatever you want, you can give that name. Inside that, create the resource files of animation, not just resource file, animation resource files in the form of XML and provide the orientation with respect to X coordinate, Y coordinate and how much, uh, what type, kind of animation that you want that thing should be provided here in the form of resource file. So with respect to the example that I'm going to develop now, I'm going to use a simple two line animation that should support me to traverse the images from one to another by using that previous and next button. So let's start this application design. Firstly, I will list out the design requirement. This is my application design. So I will give the title as animation. This is for only title purpose. Then I will call one image switcher. Note down this. The title of this component is image switcher. So where by default Android image will be present. Image switcher. So then I'm going to add two buttons. Next, other one is previous. So this is my simple design requirement. Observe, so what I'm going to do is, so when I'm going to use one text view, you can use a constraint layout as 
So why? Because uh, the components are very less, you can set the constraints for this one, also this one, this one, this one. So I'm going to use the text view one for the title purpose. Then I'm going to use image switcher. Why? Because here the animation that I'm applying here is just to switch the images. Next, I'm going to use two buttons. One is to traverse to the next image, other one is to traverse to the previous image. So this is my design requirement. Simply by doing this design, the things will not happen. So along with this, you have to download the images from any Google or any site. And you have to place those five to six images inside the drawable folder. Those images will become scrollable here. Whenever you click the next button, the next image will appear. Whenever you click the previous button, the previous will appear. This will be somewhat simple, a gallery application that I'm developing using an animation feature. So firstly, I'm going to create animation files inside the resource folder. Then I'm going to design this. Then I'm going to download the images and I'm going to store those images in the drawable folder. So let's start the development. Demonstrate the animation using image picture. So the animation will be applied on the image picture. So firstly we will download the images which are required for the animation by searching in the Google in the form of wallpapers. So I'm going to download this one. Open image. New tab and save it. So, and please note down this, whenever you are using external images in your programming, in your Java, you have to rename them. You have to rename them using lowercase letters, otherwise it's not possible to use them. It will show error. Rename, pick one. And make sure that the format will be JPG or PNG. Just observe the name is pick one and the format is jpg file. So like this I am going to download three more images. So by the different names pick two. So it is j not is not jpg. So please make sure that you will download only jpg images. should be present in JPG or PNG. Instead of downloading, even we can use the pictures which are readily available. If you have the pictures, pictures, so it is available here.
So I'm downloading the required number of images which are required for my applications. Firstly, I have downloaded one. So next, I'm going to add these images which I have downloaded and please make sure that they should be present in JPG or PNG. So as you observe here, some formats are varying. So you can so just observe any properties. Yes, a different file properties. So it is JPG properties. So this area here yeah, is not it cannot be used. So delete that one. So delete this one. So I have only three images. I need additional two more images which are in JPG format. So I'm going to download them. So all papers in JPG. Open image. Save an image. So I will demonstrate by using this many applications, there's more this many free natures, there's more than enough. So I'm going to download and I'm going to rename this. So this is the first step that you have to do. This is the first step that you have to do with respect to this animation. To Just you have to use the unique name and please note down this. So this name should be in lowercase letters and there should not be any special characters and the format of this picture should be JPG or PNG. So next let's start the Android application development for this animation. So I'm going to open the Android Studio. It's a very simple application to demonstrate the animation. So where we are going to add these pictures and we will add animation file. So whenever user clicks on a button, the animation should happen by changing the pictures in the form of an image switcher. So the design thing that we are using in this particular um, application is along with the two buttons and the title I'm going to use uh, component or the view by name image switcher that is the one which is responsible for switching the image one after the other. So this is how we can introduce small small kind of animations in your Android application development. So for that every individual animation you must be capable of writing the animation code or the coordinates for, to, for the translation purpose. So once uh, you write that animation file or the animation so that can be used in the Java part to perform the animation in the design. So this application, animation application, even you can call it as an image switcher application where we are going to switch the images one after the other uh, by using a translate feature well, on these five pictures that we have downloaded right now. So my studio, Android Studio is ready. I'm going to create a new project. I'm, I'm going to select empty activity next. So the application name that I'm going to give is animation application finish. Once the gradle synchronization is done, so we can start the application development. So that the synchronization is getting started. 
so the this in, so please with respect to this gradle synchronization make sure that you have internet connectivity if you don't have internet connectivity it's not possible to synchronize the gradle scripts with the project that you have created so that's the one primary thing you have to make sure that the design your uh, system is connected to internet whenever you start a new project until until the synchronization has been done the, the gradle scripts are synchronized with the new project that's the prim primary thing that you have to check so my gradle synchronization is happening once it is completed we will start the application development firstly we will finish off the design then we will move to uh, the development design is very much important so if anything goes wrong in the design so it's not possible to um, recall so even after the application development is over why because firstly you have to define the things which are required in your design that's why that's the primary thing so kindly concentrate kindly make sure that you are doing a proper design then only you have to proceed further with the development gradle is building and gradle synchronization is done once the gradle synchronization is done so firstly we will add the required components to the to the xml code or the design part so my digital digital synchronization has been finished go to design so firstly i will add the title which is required for this animation application i'm going to give the title as image switcher the title that will be you have that i will be using for this application as image switcher so just i'm going to make use of so just i'm going to make use of the same uh, application just i will re be renaming this one so the text will be renamed the text will be renamed as image switcher image switcher and i'm going to change the size of this text so that will be visible this will serve as a title that's it nothing more than that just have added the title for this particular application the title of this application is image switcher so next i'm going to add two buttons so one is for next other one is for previous and i'm going to rename them after setting the constraints on all four sides so first button will the purpose of the first button is to go for the previous image so and i'm going to change the text associated with that so i'm going to make it as previous next i'm going to add another one button so when a user clicks on this particular button so it should, it should take me to the next image so the title of the button that i'm going to give is next so whenever you user clicks on this button so it should take me to the next image that is there in the drawable folder which i'm going to place in the next step done so next i'm going to add another one component by name image switcher image switcher if you observe here it's not available so in such case you have to follow this procedure just go to the code and add that image switcher here before the button so i'm going to add image switcher so it will occupy the height will the width will be the match parent so it should occupy the whole screen the height i'm going to not occupy the whole screen so of that i'm going to use a small size that is in terms of density independent pixel next i'm going to provide the id id that is id high switcher i'm going to use the id as high switcher next i'm going to provide the uh, so i'm going to fix the remaining aspects so based on the constraint layout just i will go to the design so that image switcher will be available here i will set the constraints on all four sides two sides is enough why because 
so just observe I'm placing the image feature here so the image will appear in this okay so this is my design so this is the title of the application that is image feature where the I'm going to do the animation so next I'm using the component by name image feature I have added two buttons one is next other one is previous so just I'm making use of constraint layout here so in code I'm going to use the IDs so for image feature I'm using the ID ice feature ice feature so for button one which is responsible for previous I'm going to change the ID as P E R P R E V. so button two which is responsible for the navigation of next image for that I'm going to use NEXT so done then the next thing is so please observe my design is ready title the image feature and two buttons so the next thing is I'm going to add uh, the downloaded images to this drawable folder so I have ended I have downloaded four five images and I'm going to select those five images and I'm going to place it in the drawable folder copy those five images and place it in the drawable folder paste it in the drawable folder and it will ask for the permission give say yes so and those images will appear inside the drawable folder just observe so the five images pick one pick two pick three pick four pick five with jpg format even if the format is missing or even if the naming convention is wrong you are going to face error in this particular step so next we need to add one file for the animation so uh, inside this resources so i'm going to create a new android resources directory and i'm going to give the name as animation animation so and i'm going to use that file so animation is ready here so inside this animation i'm going to create two files two files two xml files So first one is in dot xml, other one is uh, this one. So we have to create two files. One this first one is in dot xml, other one is out.xml these are the two files which are responsible for the translation or the animation so you have to create a new folder inside the resources so once after creating a new folder add these two files so new file animation resource file the file name is okay so similarly create another one file that is new animation resource file the file name is out so here you have to provide the translation by adding the code by providing the x and y coordinators coordinates translation firstly in the in dot in the in dot xml i'm going to write the translation I'm going to provide the duration in the form of milliseconds that is thousand next I'm going to call translation translate and I'm going to provide this translate coordinate Android from X Delta it is minus hundred percent it is minus hundred percent from X Delta to x delta it is zero percent and close and the translate has been closed here and the set has been closed 
So done. I have adding, I'm adding only two attributes here. From x delta, it is minus 100%. Just I'm providing the coordinate. Y delta, it is 100%. So same thing, I'm going to do it in the out.xml. So where I will be firstly providing the Android duration. Android duration, it's 1000 milliseconds. Next, I'm going to call translate inside that firstly from x delta it is 0 percent next from 2 x delta it is 100 percent next close the translate and close the set so just observe, I have added two lines of code with respect to in.xml and out.xml which is present inside the animation directory which I have created. So I have created these two files in the form of animation resource file where I am doing simple animation of translation of two images, five images which I am using in my program. So this is the primary step that you have to do. You have to create the animation inside the resources using a separate folder. You can give any user defined name here. So and you can give any user defined file name and you have to provide the coordinates for the translation in the form of two different files or five depends on your programming requirement. So once after that, once after that, so let's start the programming. So to demonstrate the image switcher. So let's go for the Java part. Let's go for the Java part. Firstly, I'm going to define two buttons which I have used in my program design that is button previous and next. These are the two buttons which I have placed. So along with that, I'm going to define image switcher, image switcher that is I switcher. So image switcher, the reference that I am going to use is high switcher. So after that I will be defining the images that I have declared in, in the form of integer array, integer array images is equal to firstly or dot drawable inside that we have picture number one. This is the first image. Next or dot drawable dot picture number two next r dot drawable dot picture number three or dot drawable dot picture number four four or dot drawable dot picture number I am done with the declaring of five pictures which are there in my drawable folder. So I am using those five pictures in my program and I am going to declare a variable integer so which starts from i is equal to 0. It starts from i is equal to 0. So next just I have declared uh, references for the buttons and the image switcher and the list of images which are there in the drawable folder and a variable which starts from zero. So firstly I will identify the uh, three, two buttons and the images switcher, switcher which I have used that is PRV is equal to find view by id or dot id dot uh, the title less id is PR. that's why I told you to re remember this. Next is equal to find view by id find view by id r dot id dot next next i'm going to declare i switcher it is nothing but image switcher is equal to find view by id r dot id dot yeah, i switcher this is that id that i have used in the id part so next i will call the the inbuilt listener on the high switcher that is image switcher i switcher dot set factory so new 
new view switcher it will automatically override a method okay inside that method you have to provide the image view and you have to scale the image view and you have to provide the layout parameters inside this make view you have to provide the parameters let us firstly i will call image view image view image view image is equal to get new image view new image view get application context so i'm calling a image view here so after calling the image view i will call the image dot set the scale type so what's the scale what's the scale of image the scale type is what's the image view scale dot fit it to the scale scale type dot fit it to the center means where the, that image should fit it should if we have created a image view so in this image view where the image should fit it should be fitted into the center next for that image view we have to pass the parameter images dot set layout parameters means we have to set the layout parameters the layout parameters consist of width and height new image switcher image switcher linear new image switcher new image switcher layout parameters new image switcher layout parameters new image switcher so how to call it on image switcher new image switcher dot new image switcher dot layout parameters and you have to provide the layout parameters here such as i am passing the linear layout linear layout linear layout dot layout parameters dot width wise it should match the parent width size it should match the parent next so linear layout linear layout dot layout parameters so with respect to height it has to match the parent means it should occupy the whole screen the image view should occupy the whole screen the image view should occupy the whole screen of image switcher and the image should appear in the center so the next so the next i will return the image otherwise that's why the error is appearing here i will return the image done so we have provided the view here make view so just i am calling a so image view and i am using a reference image next i am fitting the i am providing the scale type it should fit into the center next i am providing the parameters for the uh, image view it should make use of image switcher and it should occupy the whole screen whole screen of image switcher with respect to height as well as with respect to width finally it should return the image in that view so next i am going to provide the animation file i am going to provide the animation file i am going to embed the animation file to this uh, uh, java part by using animation utilities animation utilities dot load the animation which is there in get applicator and context which is there in or dot anim dot in similarly we have to load the animation file which is there in the out by using the same reference out is equal to animation utilities dot load animation get application context load r dot anim dot out done so next just we have embedded the animation file which is there in the resource directory and uh, inside that resource directory inside the animation directory we have that file in and out we have linked those two files so once after that 
once after that I need to call the image switcher I switcher dot set set in animation set in animation and provide the file name that is in I switcher dot set out animation and provide the file out then once after that so we have to add the actions to the buttons that we have inserted by using a direct way of invoking a method not the indirect way I am not writing the user defined method here instead of that I am calling an action listener on that button by using prv dot set on click listener set on click listener so new view on click listener so it will provide a method on click so where I am going to place the logic for the translation that is if if i means i am referring to the list of in pictures if the i value is greater than zero decrement the i value means display the next image and call the i switcher i switcher dot set set image set image resources that is there in images array of index i so next so if you click on previous button this is what the logic is going to execute if you click on the previous button if the i value is greater than zero so it should decrement the i value and it should display that image which is there that index of the array of integers that we have used to refer the images so once after that for the next but I am going to add the logic next dot set on click listener new view on click listener so if here if the i value if the i value is less than the string length or the array length images dot dot length minus one if the i value is less than images minus images length minus one means it is fully occupied it is not fully occupied then increment the i value i plus plus and what's there the image that is there in that index should be displayed that is set image resource image present in that index done clear so it's a very simple uh, animation application that we have developed here so just we will be using two buttons previous and next I will be using image switcher so before uh, declaring these two buttons just observe I will explain from the first firstly I have added firstly I have added the image switcher title and image switcher and two buttons then I have downloaded five images and have placed those images in the drawable folder Next, I have created a new directory, new folder by name anim. Inside that new folder, I am creating two uh, animation resource file by name in and out. So once after that, I will go to Java part. So firstly, I will declare two buttons, previous and next. I will call image switcher and I will list out the images which are there in the drawable folder. And I will declare a variable which starts from zero. Firstly, I will identify three components which I am using in my design button previous button next and image switcher next I will call the set factory for that image switcher that will provide a method by name make view where I will call image view and where I will provide the scale type whether it should be fitted in the width side next I will provide the parameters so I am providing the parameter which occupies all the image switcher and a written image so next I have created two files in the resources animation in and out so I am loading those two animation files which are there in the resource animation in resource animation out then I will call I am calling image switcher on those two animation file then I am adding a listener for previous button so if the previous value is greater than if the i value is greater than zero decrement the i value and place that image as a background resource next whenever a user clicks on next button so if the i value is less than the images number of images minus one so increment the i value and set that image as a image source 
so this is how it's uh, this application is going to work so I will uh, execute this so that you can see the output how this particular animation is going to work so it's a very simple application where I am not using any complex animation here so like this you can create the complex or simple any types of application animation just the thing is you have to place the animation file make sure that you are going to place the animation file inside the resources inside the resources directory inside the resources directory and please note that so you have to create a separate folder inside that folder you have to create a new file that is animation resource file so using that you can execute you can apply the animation to the android application that you are developing so that animation file where you have to make sure that you are providing the exact coordinator or the exact information that is required for the animation whether it's towards the delta x or from the delta x delta y so that thing should make sure you have to make sure that you are providing the exact information otherwise it leads to wrong animation which is not intended by the user so animation is a very important feature that will give a rich user in interface experience but the problem associated with the animation is so if any small mistake in the animation file will completely sp spoil the entire experience of the user in that particular android application so my application has been executed without any errors just it is waiting for target device to come online once the emulator comes online we can observe the output of the application that you have developed the application developed by me right now is a very very simple application just the thing is i'm making use of two simple animation files for the translation of images one after the other by using a buttons for that i'm using a component by name image switcher so so the my application has been executed without any errors it is waiting for the target device to come online once it device come online so i can show the output and with respect to using the external files guys please make sure that you are going to use the proper naming convention and the format even if there is any error in the format or even if there is any error in the naming convention so you are going to face the error in the drawable folder whenever you are using any external images in your drawable folder make sure that so you are going to use the lowercase letters and the format should be in jpg or png then only you can get the proper output so don't use uppercase letters or the combination of upper and lowercase letters even that will introduce error in the particular file name so it's better to download the images which are required and rename them as per the convention and make sure that the image belong to jpg or png then only you can see the output so my application is ready just i am going to demonstrate the output the execution is done the application is getting installed so you can see the output this is a simple application to demonstrate the animation using image switcher so once the installation is done i am going to show the animation and we will conclude this video so the, my application is getting installed so beginning initially when you execute this emulator for the first time it will take more time up to five minutes to come to online so my application is ready just observe so image switcher so if i click on next just observe the transition is happening if i click on previous the previous image next This is a simple example to demonstrate the animation. Thank you.